So the most important thing with a flat iron is to make sure that it's on. <laughs> Allie! Hi. Hi! Are you here for a callback? Yes, I am. Come on in! Just kidding, we're gonna do your makeover right here in the elevator. Okay, I'm totally down with that. So now we're gonna be making over Allie. She is just out of college, trying to get into the workplace, and her outfit could use a little light. Because she's so blonde and fair skinned, she's looking really washed out. I'm dying to put on a little bit of mascara. She needs bangs more than air in her lungs, so it is gonna happen right now. I'm looking at you, and you're gonna go into an interview, and the look is kind of college-y right now, right? Yeah. A little long, whatever. Would you be open to like a little side bang action? I think, yeah. Not a lot, just enough to break this up because it's like so long. Mm -hmm. I just want to give you like a little moment. That'll help get it out of my face too. For days. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Yes! Oh, I can breathe now. <laughs> I'm gonna style that when my flat iron heats up, but okay. until then, you can start with the makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. Open your eyes, please. I have a really cute printed top that I'm gonna give you. Oh, awesome. Oh, this elevator gets to the top faster and faster every time. So the thing with blondes is because, you know, you're fair skin and you have light lashes, light brows, it's really easy to get washed out. So that's why you wanna add just a little bit of color. You don't need much. I'm gonna have you slip these off. These okay. shoes are actually really cute, but I just think you need a little color, and these are a little more sophisticated. Me, Patent leather is totally fine for like a night on the town, but for the workplace, I'm just gonna go with something a little less shiny. I'm just doing one coat of mascara just because, you know, you don't need too much. You don't want to look like you tried way too hard, but you just want to look like you put a little bit of effort in just to look a little bit more polished. All right, so here's the thing with the flat iron. What I'm doing is I've got it on a medium heat because your hair is color treated, and then I reverse the iron. Have you ever curled ribbon when you're doing a gift? Mm -hmm. It's the same concept. So the hair springs back and just has a little bit of a bend. And what's the trick to avoid like getting like that crimpy line in it with uh, the flat iron? Well, what you want to do is you don't want to stop it. If you do get a crimpy line, basically what you can do is you can run over it one more time. Like I think I got stopped a little bit in the front, so I can just go hit it. You can tap it like that and then roll it. So all I'm doing now is just adding a little bit of bronzer. This one kind of has a pinky undertone to it, so it's not an orangey undertone, so it's kind of like a blush and bronzer in one. At home, you could just mix in a little bit of each, and it's just a great way to just multitask and do all the things you need all at once. I'm mainly focusing this just where the sun would hit naturally, because again, you just want to look like sun-kissed. That's still a natural look. The thing is, if you're in the workplace or interview, it's really important to, to put some effort in. I mean, this is not the moment for, you know, just an easy breezy kind of thing. You want to go in there looking like you mean business. So all I'm doing now is just adding a little bit of a pink lip liner. This is really close to your natural lip color, but it just adds a little bit of extra oomph. All right, this is my money shot. You just spray the bangs with a little hairspray. I have a comb. So I'm going to comb them. We're just going to give you a little bevel on the edge. Now you look a little more pro. And this is gonna look so cute with a ponytail, too. All right, are you ready to see yourself? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Don't forget our bag. Oh, shoot, I always forget <laughs> the bag. Let's go, Love let's it. go. All right, Allie, are you ready to see your bangs? I'm so excited. Me too. Oh, awesome. Oh, this looks great. And the blue top that you came in with, it's totally fine. The color is absolutely on trend, but it just wasn't memorable. And if you're going into the workplace and you're trying to get a job, you have to brand yourself. And like, how do you work that out? So this is a look and it works. I definitely did not expect uh, to be getting a makeover right in the middle of the elevator. Um, but I was really, really impressed by how they pulled it off. Oh, I'm so glad she let me cut her bangs. So she was good. nervous, but I was confident. She had eyes in there, who knew? Yeah, uh, speaking of eyes, like, hello, the mascara. Changed she, her life, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah, just a little bit went a long, long way. This look is definitely gonna make her way more memorable in For the workplace. Sure. If you guys agree with us, please let us know in the comments section and give us a thumbs up for Allie's amazing transformation. And don't forget to subscribe for more episodes of Elevator Makeover.